Okay, in this section of the video, we're going to go through the component identification for common accessories that are used with uh, the gemological based version of the spec finder system. The first and most common accessory that's purchased with the gemological spec finder is a small lens extender. This is the VZM 0.5 lens extender that threads onto the bottom of the spec finder optic. What this does is double the field of view of the optic. Uh, it increases the field of view to a range of 25 millimeters uh, when the lens is fully zoomed out down to 6 millimeters. So this is a very common accessory and recommended accessory to use with the Gemological Spec Finder. The next common accessory <coughs> is the uh, vacuum pen and pump assembly. And we're going to review those components. Uh, the first component here is the actual uh, vacuum pump itself. Uh, this pump sits on the floor and plugs in uh, with the cord. Then we have the actual hose that attaches to the pump itself and then to the vacuum pen. This is the actual vacuum pen and the tip with the suction cups and then an o-ring that attaches to the assembly. Then this is the uh, gem mount clamp for the vacuum pump assembly. So this vacuum uh, clamp or this clamp attaches to the gem base which it attaches the XY micro stage and this micro stage positions the pen with fine adjustment capability. This accessory that comes with the vacuum pen and pump assembly also attaches to the XY micro stage and this can be used to attach a wire stone holder. So it threads onto the back of the XY micro positioner as such and then the actual stone holder can attach here. Alternatively, this is the bracket which attaches to the XY micro stage that the vacuum pen seats in. And so we can attach that to the gem base, which we will do in the setup portion of the video. And then the stone actually seats into the vacuum pen and can be viewed by spec finder unencumbered from the wire stone holder. Then thirdly, a common accessory that's used with the SpecFinder Genealogical Base are the secondary LED arm lighting. This is dimmable LED lighting. This attaches to the back of the SpecFinder head. And then these arms can be maneuvered and positioned by the user around a gemstone, around the light diffuser dome. And then there's dimming capability as well to control the intensity of the LED illumination. And then there's the separate 12 volt power supply that comes with the LED arm assemblies that's simply plugged into the back of the power box for the LED arms and then plugged into the wall. So these are three very common accessories that are purchased with the SpecFinder Genealogical Base version, and that ends this portion of the video.